About 2 million people enjoy the Beltline each and every year, and more money could bring even more visitors. The Beltline just got its biggest federal construction grant ever, $25 million, money that will help complete the northeast portion of the trail, connecting it to the Lindbergh Marta Station. Yeah, this is a big deal. The economic impact of the completed parts of the Beltline is already in the billions of dollars. 11 Alive's John Sherrick is on that story for us tonight. He's one in a million, actually one in two million. I mean, this beats traffic 100%. Daniel Treat, one of the two million people who use Atlanta's Beltline every year. He says yes, he likes the sound of $25 million, the huge federal grant just announced to finish the northeast portion of the Beltline all the way to the Lindbergh Marta Transit Station. The Beltline is Daniel Treat's oh, I lifeline. I, had, I stopped driving because of it. It like, opened up right into my backyard and I got this scooter so I could just hop on and go straight to town. It was a lot faster too. The new money in place guarantees that the Beltline will extend north from I-85, weaving a complicated two-mile route through the Armour Industrial and Commercial District and then connecting with the Lindbergh Marta Rail Station, which will be the only Marta station on the Beltline. Think about the original premise of the Beltline. It, it is there to give people options in how they get around the city. The so Beltline's president and CEO, Clyde Higgs, says the Beltline has already generated $9 billion of private investment and development along the completed portions of its route. But creating a regional impact. Including affordable housing. And Higgs says the new funding means that the entire Beltline around the city is now on course to be completed by 2030. It's so, like, so much more convenient for me. In Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News. By the way, this is just the beginning. Uh, more changes could be coming to the Beltline in August. The city council will vote on a bill that would block any new drive throughs on parts of the Beltline. And of course, those areas are very popular with the walkers and the joggers and the cyclists. And some city council members say that it will make it a lot safer for them as well.